Hello, welcome back. How do we solve this nice Olympia question? Solution. So we just simply had these two guys. So when we had, we have two into three raised to power x because this one is just individual. So when we had it together, we have two into three raised to power x equals seven raised to power x minus two. So this implies that we have two into three raised to power x equals this guy can be written as seven raised to power x times 7 raised to power minus 2 by applying the rules of indices that is whenever we have a raised to power n plus n is simply the same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n so now let's divide both sides of this equation by 2 so we have 2 into 3 raised to power x over 2 equals 7 raised to power x over 2 times 7 raised to power minus 2 so 2 cancels 2 so we have a raised to power x equals 7 raised to power x over 2 but this guy can be written as 1 over 7 square that is whenever we have a raised to power m a raised to power minus m is the same thing as 1 over a raised to power m so now this implies 3 raised to power x equals 7 raised to power x and 2 times 7 square that is just 98 so now let's proceed further let's multiply both sides of this equation by 98 so 19 cancels 98, so we are left with 3 raised to the x times 98 equals 7 raised to the x. Also, let's divide both sides by 3 raised to the x. So 3 raised to the x cancels 3 raised to the x, so we are left with 98 equals 7 raised to the x over 3 raised to the x. But this guy can be written as 7 over 3 everything raised to the x. So now this implies 98 equals 7 over 3 raised to the power x. So now let's take natural log to both sides. So we have log 98 equals log 7 over 3 raised to the power x. For this guy, we can write it as x log 7 over 3, which is equals to log 98. By using the rules of log, that this whenever we have log a raised to the power b. Is simply the same thing as b log a. That's what we have applied here. So now let's divide both sides of this equation by log 7 over 3. So when we do that, we are going to obtain this. So log 7 over 3 cancels log 7 over 3. So we are left with x equals log 98 over log 7 over 3. But this guy we can expand it. That is whenever we have log a over b this is the quotient is the same thing as log a minus log b so this implies that x equals to log 98 over log 7 minus log 3 so this is the required solution so that's it thanks for watching